We had a tips and tricks campaign on Twitter a few weeks ago. We received a lot of great tips, which we thought we should share. Let's see what these five winners shared, then show some honorable mentions. First up, our debugger is powerful, probably our most loved feature. What are the ways to use it? Direct K, or Derek K, did much more than just share a tip. He made a graphical cheat sheet and shared it with everybody. From the tweet, click on the link, go to his blog post, which says, this cheat sheet works in all of our IDEs. You see the graphic, the different paths you can take by using different shortcuts, and then links to more information. Next up, our VCS tool has so much in it, even I need to practice some tips, such as this one from Ote Zella, easily compare branches and apply changes, but starting just with a file or a directory. Let's take a look. I'm working on a branch, it's kind of old. I'd like to see what's changed versus the main branch. I could of course use the branches menu and come down here and go to main and say compare with current. That's gonna show me everything in the repo that's changed. What if I only wanna see what's changed for this file versus the that file in the main? Instead, I can right click in the editor or right click on the file, go to get and do branches, choose the one, the target that I want to compare to, and compare with current. And it's going to show me the difference in commits between the current branch and the target branch. And from that, I can select the commits to compare the differences on. And if I have more room on my screen, I can go and take a look, for example, do a comparison and a diff on this. Now, same thing is true for getting more than just the single file, I could do the entire directory, right click on it, get branch, branches, choose main, and compare with current, and wind up saying a little bit more information, but also just that one commit. WebStorm has had great support for React for many years, and sometimes it's the little things that count. AABBCC Smith has a good example in this tip about cut and paste. I'll start with some HTML. Maybe it's a file in my repo. Maybe it's cut and paste from Stack Overflow, also known as how professionals do all their coding. I want it in my React component, but that means cleaning up all the Reactisms, like class has to become class name, and this has to be with a capital C, and some other things like that. Let the IDE do the janitorial work for me. We will copy this, go over to my target, and when I paste, you'll see that on click was changed to have a capital C, and class was changed to be a class name. Et voila, WebStorm has reactified my HTML. Handy. We're talking about productivity tips. Guess what? There's a built-in productivity guide as Kai points out in this high quality tweet, screenshot and extra credit for the strong emoji usage. What if I told you there was a tool inside your tool? Okay, kidding aside, WebStorm can tell you how you're doing on tips. In the help menu, click productivity guide. And you'll see some stats on how you're putting the IDE features to work code completion, quick fixes, plus the important part, things you could be using, but aren't. And now a tip I use all the time. It's about navigation. It comes from Fatih Tazdemir, and extra credit here because the actual tweet has a 10 second video. Let's say I'm moving around in a file to different places on the visible screen. Maybe to some places that aren't, weren't on the screen or way at the bottom of the file, like to the query. And then I realize, how did I get here? Where was I? I could keep all that in my brain, but instead let the IDE remember for you. Use navigate back to retrace your steps instead of making your brain keep track of all of that information. If you do decide you want to go back, or at least you've gone back, but you want to return, you can go forward. 
and then back again. This works across files. Let's say I'm going on an exploration. I want to see what this is all about. I go to bottom nav, and then I think, oh, yeah, wow, that's pretty interesting. What or What is this link thing? I'll go to it. Okay, that's pretty interesting. What are the props? And then I realize, wow, I've really gone. I can't even remember where I was. Navigate back. Takes you back to the top. There were so many useful tips that we can't just show you five. I had to go into the selections. So here are some more tips that our users love. I say this in all my tutorials. Let the IDE do the work for you. As Kai points out, refactoring can automate moving a subcomponent to its own file. We have a file with a parent component that uses a child component. Most people do one React component per file. Let's use refactor move to automate this. I'm going to click on the symbol, choose move, choose refactor, and then move. I get a dialog asking me what I want to name this. I'll say learn react.js as the target for the file name. I want this constant to go along since it's used uh, in the component. Keep the visibility and do refactor. It's going to make a file, offer to add it to get. And when I do, I get a new file, learn react.js, with the component that's exported. If I go back to the original, I'll see that it's imported and that constant is no longer there. We're done. The original file is changed to do the import. Big IDE, too many buttons, but it doesn't have to be this way. As Jorge Ramirez points out in his tip, it's really easy to turn off all the tools and focus on the code using Zen mode. Such a useful tip, so easy to use. All we need to do is go to the view appearance menu, choose the option for enter Zen mode, and poof, all of the IDE goes away except for the editor and I can focus just on my code. If I then get out of kind of coding mode and want to go back into IDE mode, reverse what you did, view, appearance, exit, Zen mode. Ah, this tip from Merrick was certain to win my vote. Do you use just for testing? Want your tests to run automatically? Add dash dash watch to the run configuration. Let's look. I have a test. It fails because Shocking, two does not equal one. I change it and save. And mysteriously, my tests automatically run as soon as I save. And now the test pass. How did that work? In my just configuration, my just run debug configuration, I added dash dash watch to the just options, which turns on the just watcher, which makes everything go nice and fast. If I haven't typed that in yet, the IDE placeholder will helpfully tell me some of the useful choices. Friends, life is too short to manage imports. Paul Vandendool shows the way. Let your IDE do your janitorial work for you. I have some code. It's a little bit messy when it comes to imports. I'm going to let the IDE do the work for me. I'm sitting in some curly braces. There's a symbol I want to get an import. And as soon as I hit tab, it auto-completes it and generates the import for me. Next, I have one that's already typed. I can Alt-Enter and go and get the import for that. Finally, I've got a not needed import up there. Rather than stopping what I'm doing, going to the top and fixing all the unneeded imports, Optimized Imports will do all the work for me. WebStorm has lots of ways to automate repetitive tasks. Thank you, Matthias Sorba, for this tip tweet reminding us to use postfix completion, in this case, for if statements. I want to console log something if show it works is true. Rather than type the if statement, I can use postfix completion. I'll choose the postfix completion for if. When I hit tab, it expands and constructs the if for me, and I can do my console log saying it works. I saved this one for last, by far the most mentioned by you, and certainly the one that is well loved by us at WebStorm, and it is search everywhere, shift, shift. Sometimes I think we should change the name of the product to shift, shift, storm.
I want to jump directly to the definition of a symbol. I can use search everywhere and start typing some of the name of the thing I'm looking for. You'll see I match in a file name, I match in a git commit message. I'll type a little bit more and I will choose the symbol. If I really wanted to choose this as a symbol, I could hit tab to change the filter for searching. And now when I hit enter, I open the file directly on that symbol. Have a favorite WebStorm tip? Share it with us using the hashtag WebStorm tip, hashtag WebStorm tip, and we can then share it with the rest of the world. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you to everybody that participated and have a nice day.